All right, so um, I want to do a quick response video to the video I just posted about DJ Academics violated by Fresh and Fit model. The reason why I put that because, like I said, in my news report, unidentified female. The shade room didn't post it as his girlfriend or whatever, right? He just said Fresh and Fit podcast altercation, right? So I see a lot of academics fans coming in the comment section trying to defend academics. Like I said in the video, he has a lot of static for women. That does not change. The fact that it's his girlfriend makes it even worse. You stupid academics fans. I can tell y'all got to be little ass kids. Based off the fact if that's his lady. If she's bugging out, you don't push her the way he pushed her. He pushed his lady hard as f If that wall wasn't there and, his, and if she was drinking, like he said in his, in his response video, and if that wall wasn't there to hold her up, she would have been out on that floor. And he already said that she was drunk. So, so is that how y'all would want a man to handle y'all sister or mom? cousin auntie anybody that's related to y'all is that how y'all will want they husband boyfriend hell even your daddy is that how y'all will want him to handle somebody that y'all love see the academics fans they still gonna have something to say and i'm not talking to y'all i don't give a fuck about y'all just like i don't give a fuck about academics The fact that he's that aggressive towards his girlfriend goes to show he doesn't give a fuck about her. And he pretty much was saying that in his response video. Oh, I knew I should have never talked. I knew I should have never took her out. Uh, I knew she was one of those. I knew she was like Rashawn Rock 2.0. I knew this. I knew that. The red flags was there. She talked like this. So why the fuck is that his girlfriend then? Academics fans. Seriously, y'all made the shit worse for him, to be honest, because I didn't even know that was his lady. So now I got a lot more to say. You pushing your lady back if she's the aggressor and you're trying to break it up before the fight. I get it. But once those women started charging at your lady, why the f does it look like it's a three on one? Let me repeat that again. When those two women charged at his woman, why does it look like it's a three on one fight? Academics fans, since y'all want to protect this man so much, nobody can have a, a point of view, a take about what the fuck I saw. Like I said, would y'all want somebody to handle y'all family members like that? Somebody that you care about. And if that lady has a brain, she would break up with that man. Academics just showed he's not a protector. He's a bitch. A bitch nigga would do exactly what academics would do. Why the f is he that aggressive towards his lady? And not the chicks that's punching her. I don't give a f if she did swing and she hit him first. Okay. You try to break it up. Cool. But your back should never be turned towards the ops. What if they pulled out a knife, a gun, something? Academics dumbass when have saw that shit. Because he's not a protector. He's a bitch. As soon as the argument break out, you stand in front of your girlfriend. And you push her back. With your body weight. It's not that hard. No, what is he doing? He's pushing this lady. He's arguing with her. He's in her face. He's cussing her out. Mad aggressive. And like I said, why the f does that video look like a three on one fight? And y'all still want to come judge people that's critical towards academic. That's how I know y'all some, some little ass kids. Y'all can't be no grown men. If y'all some grown men defending that shit, then man, it's a lot that y'all got to learn in life, man. For real, for real. 
you know what I mean I don't try to come on this platform with this type of energy but you know when I get comments and shit from these goofy ass fans that say some dumb ass shit like that it's like I just don't understand y'all I didn't even know that was his lady if if I did I would have said all the shit that I'm saying now in that video so yeah man uh, that's just my thoughts on the video that's my thoughts on the situation academics responded and in my opinion he just pretty much exposed what I already know just off of that video he don't give a fuck about that broad he don't if he did trust me his back wouldn't be turned to the ops and still aggressive towards his female any man knows this any man that has a wife or a girlfriend a baby mama or something that they love and that's a protector they back would never be turned towards the ops you always look where the enemy is at you don't know these females are trying to talk to you you don't know them like i said they can have weapons pepper spray knives what if they call them more people over what if somebody's on the phone calling a man's or something to come up here and shoot you and rob you and kill you you never know you have to pay attention to everything like that you gotta be on point you just never know one could be fighting another one could be on the phone and you gotta listen and just pay attention to everything you never know you could have heard somebody say yeah come up here academics up here he got his chains on he ain't got no security da, 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 da. even though academics said the police was out there but the police said the police just allowed that shit to happen but the point is bro you never have your back towards the ops and that's all i gotta say in this video that should look like a three-on-one fight y'all academics fans y'all just expose this man for being a bitch self-talk for self-talk news i'll holla at y'all man salute <laughs>